welcome back and namaskar we are discussing a case of selection appointment of a stenographer in the previous lecture we used the comparison of calculated value of z and critical value of z for the purpose of arriving at statistical conclusion or conclusion at the end of the test of hypothesis now in this lecture we are going to use another two methods and the first is to arrive at the conclusion with the help of normal curve sketch of the normal curve as i have already drawn yes we know that the critical value is 2.326 it should be taken as negative because we can reject her claim of speed of taking dictation at the rate of 120 words per minute only if her speed proved to be proves to be less than 120 so this is the case of pure case of one tail test there can be no confusion and hence only if the mean is less than say the mean at this critical value we can reject her claim according to the principles of testing of hypothesis so the critical value of z should be taken as negative it should be here somewhere this is the line of z minus 2.326 and now the entire graph has been divided into two parts one this much is rejection region if the calculated value of z falls in this region we should reject her claim but on the other hand if the calculated value of z falls in this region her claim should not be rejected that means her claim should be accepted what happens we have already calculated the value of z and it is minus 2.667 minus means further left hand side of 2.326 so here somewhere the calculated value of z falls minus 2.667 that means the calculated value of z falls in the rejection region that means we should reject her claim what is her claim she can take dictation at a speed of 120 words per minute but according to our statistical analysis and testing of hypothesis we reject her claim because the calculated value falls in the rejection region and we can conclude that her speed of taking dictation is less than 120 words per minute so to use this method also we have to calculate the value of z okay so more or less these two methods are same the comparison style of comparison is different now another method is p-value method for using the p-value method we have to consider the calculated z as z score of our normal or bell shaped distribution and we should find out the relevant area the formula of p-value is 0.5 minus area for z calculated and that is 0.5 minus 0.4962 area for 2.67 I am taking 0.4962 it is something like 5000 minus 4938 it comes to 0 0.0038 yes p value means the probability of sample mean taking at least this much value what is the probability that the sample mean is 116 or more this kind of say problem of normal distribution if we consider or think this is the p-value or other probability of sample mean taking at least this much value okay now we need to compare p-value with alpha in case of one tail test and with alpha by two in case of two tail test this is one tail test so we need to compare it with alpha and alpha is 0 0.01 that means this is something like comparison between 38 and 100 and here if the p value is less than 
alpha, then we reject the claim. Rather, we reject the null hypothesis. And when we reject the null hypothesis, we can say that we accept the alternative hypothesis. So our conclusion will be according to the alternative hypothesis. That is, our claim is not acceptable. That means our average speed is less than 120 words per minute. So this is the p-value method. In case of finding the solutions of all these kind of cases and problems through computer, p-value method is very popular. In case of use of Excel and other softwares, the method of comparison and conclusion is somewhat different but the main thing is p value is less than alpha or alpha by 2 whichever is the case 1 tail or 2 tail that's it thank you very much